Ladies and gentlemen, we found this beautiful, peaceful, serene, nice lake here, and uh, we we're thinking about fishing it maybe tomorrow. And uh, you know, I think it might be pretty good. What are you doing? Well, Steve, I opened up this uh, new Twitter account, and uh, I'd like to send out a, a tweet, uh, just kind of letting some people know where we're fishing. You know, I think I might garner a few followers. Okay. So I figured it was worth a try. Yeah, good. So anyway, yeah, tomorrow we'll give this a shot. Sounds good. See what happens. Holy smokes. We pulled up to the now busy lake. Thanks, Thanks for the treat, the guys. Tree. No problem. Soon we were on the water. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> nice. Oh. He's on that the mayfly. Yeah, it's good size. It's decent fish. Oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, very nice. Go ahead. Steve brought the fish near, and soon it was in the net. Oh yeah, that's a nice rainbow. Yeah, so this is the fly we caught it on. It's a little Calabatus imitation, which is uh, for mayflies. And uh, there's a few of them hatching out here today, so that's why we're trying that. There he goes. Hey, All right. Good yeah. Job, Steve. Thanks. Very cool. Oh, you, uh, you just had a hit. I did. Yes, and your, your your rod was just bouncing like crazy. Wow. We're fishing here at West Medical, which is a popular lake here in eastern Washington, and it's been recently stocked, and there's a lot of nice fish out there. We've seen some big fish being hauled in by some other anglers, and hopefully we might hook into one of those too. Yeah, there it is. It's a good fish. Yeah, they're fat fish. Man, I tell you, they're girthy, guys. And man, when I first hit, just jumped three times, skyrocketed. Ooh, baby. Yeah, unfortunately, we're going. All right, man, I've had a bunch of hits, but I haven't been able to hook one. Finally, I caught one. It's a good fish. So, what? yeah, what on the board. Hit on? hit on a brown woolly bugger. Let's see if I can find it here. Yep. Ooh. This brown woolly bugger right here with a little sparkly tail, green bead head, and uh, it's a good fight. We were working the east shoreline. Oh, there's one. The rainbow took to the air. Oh, good heavens, that was a big leap. Wow, what a fish. Fantastic. Ooh, dogs. Beautiful fish. Wow. Yeah, you can see down in the water that this fish was fat. You can see it flashing down there. It's pretty cool. Just making lots of runs. Right under the boat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Thank you. One of the reasons we chose this lake is because we looked up on the Fish and Game website and saw that they'd stocked it with quite a few nice sized fish. What a beauty. Wow. Woo, that was fun. That was a good fight. Yep. So we're both using full sink lines here today. Um, fairly fast sinking and uh, 
Oh, we're probably casting out about 20 or 30 feet. We're fishing in um, 10 feet of water, maybe 12 feet of water. And then uh, just basically trolling along fairly slowly. Got him. Got one. Yeah, that's a decent fish. That's a good fish. Good. Yep. All right. All right. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Now he sits calmly. Yeah. <laughs> there he goes. And there he goes. Very nice. Yeah. Job. Good. Yeah. That cut. Cut that one on the brown. Kind of like a woolly bugger, but uh, uh -huh. it's got the red tail on it. Uh -huh. um, I forget what they call those, actually. Yeah, I wish I could help you. Yeah. Oh, well. Good job. Thanks. Thanks for the tweet! Thanks for the tweet! <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> There it is. Oh, darn it. That was, yeah. Yeah, I just got two tags right here. So hopefully one's gonna bite. We'll see. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Nice, oh, look at that. Wow. Put, yeah, here let me catch this thing. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> here, here. Kick, keep, keep kicking back so you put pressure on him. Ooh. Holy smokes. Oh man, that is a nice one, lad. Yep. Man, that first jump I got on film, the second one I was holding the camera and trying to catch a fish at the same time. And that doesn't really work very well. Yeah. Boy. Oh, wow. When you're in these pontoon boats, you got a lot of stuff to deal with. You've got fins, you've got oars hanging in the water. Ah, let's see if I can wear this guy out. I don't want to go too, too much closer till it gets tired because I have a long leader on. And you don't want that knot to get caught in the leader. I'm just gonna let him tire himself out, fight him. Yeah, it's a good fish. I saw that thing jump and it looks like about a good three pounder. Oh, he's just dragging my tip of my rod, the rod right in the water. Oh, oh. Get the oars out of the way. Boy, yeah, this guy's towing me. He's towing me around. The fish refuse to give up the battle. Ah, oh, right at you. Right below you. Right. Oh. Wow. Nice fish. Finally, I slid the fish toward me. Oh, that's a beauty. Wow, what a fight. Good heavens. Let's get three, three pounds for sure. Look at that guy. He's just a big football guy. Wow. Very fun fight. I tell you what, I was just had my rod sitting right next to me and I was filming Steve and all of a sudden, my uh, tip of my rod went down in the water and then I 
lean back, try to get it on film with one hand there, fine. And then I set the camera down and it did the second jump and the camera was probably all cockeyed. But I'm telling you, what a fight. That oh, was yeah. fantastic. That thing came three feet out of the water. Right? Yeah, I hope I did yeah. because that was a great jump, yeah, but honestly. we'll see. What do I have here? Whoa, it's right directly under the boat. Yeah, I think that'll be all right. Yeah, it feels like a good fish. Yeah, it's on the chronomid. Under an indicator. And we've been seeing a lot of these chronomids starting to starting to hatch. So I tied it on, cast it. Ooh, and I lost it. Darn it. That was a good fish. Nice Darn it. I didn't even get to see it. Um, A little chilly, but very beautiful. Got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Not a huge fish, but nice and acrobatic there. That's fun. Try and get him on my line so I don't get him wrapped up like I did the last fish. Get it on my reel, I should say. Good jumper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's all right. Very cool. Oop. And your oar. Fish. Yeah, no doubt. All right. Good job. That was really fun. Well, this has been a great day, Steve. What do you think? Should we get out of here? Yeah, I think so. I think it's getting getting close to dark here. We're probably running out of camera light, so All better right. hit it. Let's do it. Yeah. Tip of the week is brought to you by Northwest Outfitters, located at the village at Riverstone in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. So you can see how the boat, ideally, is moving with the same speed as the offering that the fisherman's making out there. And that, that goes for whether it's a dry fly or a nymph setup or a or a streamer like Brian's fishing here now. That gives him the best shot to actually get into a fish. Uh, but you know, a good, a good rower or a good oarsman is a really handy thing to have uh, when you're out here trying to catch these fish. You know, it's, like I say, you, you're responsible for the day's success or the lack thereof by virtue of, of uh, how well you can row. Uh, and there's a lot more to it than just getting you down the down the river safely. Yeah. Get some over on that other seam there. That one hasn't even been touched yet. Yep. That's going down. Got him. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. Nice. Streamer fishing. Here we go. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yes, sir. Nice fish, Brian. Wow. <laughs> oh, <yeah>, buddy. <laughs> that is a tank. Here we go. <laughs> excellent, excellent, excellent. Yeah. We're here in eastern Washington fishing a local lake. It's early March and um, we're going to fish this open water just off the ice shelf. And we're hoping with the warm weather today, about 50 degrees, they will bring the fish into the shallows and feed and uh, we'll be able to get a few. So uh, 
should be a good day. That's a new fly I'm gonna try today. Uh, supposed to be really good for uh, early season in lakes. And uh, this is Rickard's seal bugger with uh, mostly black but uh, purple uh, hackle. So I'm gonna give that a try and uh, hope it does the trick today. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's good size. It's a decent fish. Nice. Oh! Probably took, uh, this is Rickard's uh, woolly bugger that I'm fishing with. Really nice bow. There he is. Yeah, that's a decent fish. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Ah, missed him still. <laughs> Gosh. Wow. Wow, that's a big fish. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a nice rainbow. Boy, look at the colors. There he goes. All right. right. Good yeah. Job, Steve. Thanks. Very cool. Fish. Gosh, that was a good three pound fish. Yeah. It was so fat. Was gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, nice. man. That was amazing. Yes, it was. Really good fighting fish. Early spring, this water temperature is really cold, but it still really fought well. So that was good. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. I could catch a few more of those. That'd be fun. No doubt. <laughs> oh, fish on. Wow. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, Steve's basically catching the, all the fish today, so I'm uh, I'm just filming Steve again today. Tell you, feels fairly heavy again. I don't know if he's as big as that last one, but feels like a pretty heavy fish. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. But I have 3X tippet on today. Wow. Another nice bow. Crazy. I gotta do something with these knots in my line. This guy's doing a little more head bobbing too. Okay. Goodness gracious. These are gorgeous fish. Wow. Wow. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that is awesome. All right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Nice. That is such a gorgeous trout. <laughs> nice. Unbelievable, Aladdin. Yeah. Jeez. That's awesome. two in a row that are three plus pound fish. Really fat. Man, they're fat. Beauty. Incredible. Yeah. I've always wanted to fish this lake at ice out and got the chance here today and boy, I caught some nice bows. It's good fishing. Be sure to join us next time for more Fishing with Latin because we're having fun catching fish.